YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up, baby? We back in this thing again with another review. <clears throat> this is Q's Insight. I am Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about Cobra Kai Season 4, Episode 6. All right? This is entitled Kicks Get Chicks. Now, you know how we do this if you've been on this channel before. We started off with the premise. Three of my favorite scenes, the grade, and then we on to the next one, right? <clears throat> so, again, episode six, Kicks Get Chicks. So, we open this one up, uh, <clears throat> and there's a meeting going on. Uh, the people that run the tournament is basically trying to find a way to spice up the tournament this year because of the fact that last year's tournament, you know, brought in a lot of revenue, brought in a lot of fans, and it's like, hey, you know, this year we need to do it bigger. And they really do need to do that because there's a lot more competition this time around. So we see them trying to make decisions and they finally do make decisions. And then we finally get to find out what those things are. <clears throat> um, and then Daniel uh, tells his student about tells his students about the new changes to the tournament. And, um, you know. To, to him, he feels good about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then Johnny finds out and he tells his students about the changes and he does not like it at all. You know what I'm saying? Because some of the things, some of the uh, things it takes to qualify in order to be the best at this tournament, he doesn't necessarily have because um, he doesn't have any female um, students. So he can't, he, he, you know, he can't win that. Um, so <clears throat> his whole thing is he needs to find a female student to train and be able to train them fast, you know? Um, and after that, we got Crease and Terrence, and they see the changes, and they like it as well because they're like, hey, well, you know, this works in our favor. Uh, Miyagi-Do and... Um, what is it, Eagle Claws or Eagle Fangs or whatever, they, you know, they're bumping heads right now. Plus, you know, Johnny, he doesn't even have a female student, so he's not even going to be the, you know, co compete the way that we can. <clears throat> so they're happy about this, you know. And then we uh, jump to the scene where uh, Tori's, like, going to this liquor store or something like that or just walking by a liquor store, and she ends up seeing her aunt. Her aunt's name is Candice. And her aunt, bro, is is a piece of trash, bro, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Just straight up. She wants to see if, um, <clears throat> you know, Tori has received a disability check for her mother. And Tori's like, you know, regardless of I got it, what do you need to know for And she's like, well, didn't your mother tell you that she used to take care of me, so you got to take care of me still? It's like, bro, you're a grown woman, bro. Like, super, super grown, like a grandma, basically. But like, what are you doing? Like, why are you you're tripping, bro? <clears throat> you're tripping, bro. She needs to get smacked, bro. And I hope Tori does smack her, you know what I'm saying? But it ends up being that um, Candace ends up, you know, threatening Tori. Like, hey, you know what? Once, you know what I'm saying, your mom passes away, who do you think they're going to give custody to for your little brother? You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to give them to you. They'll probably give it to me because I know how to work the system. And I'm like, bro, this shorty, shorty, shorty doesn't even deserve to be breathing. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like that, bro, just... You know, just stop, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you if you don't, just off yourself. You feel me? Um. So then after that, uh, we get to the point where Johnny and Miguel actually go look for female students to join uh, Eagle Thing because, <clears throat> like I said, they don't have no female students. And, you know, in order to be the best of the best at this tournament, you're going to have to win the uh the guys uh championship you have to win the female championship and there's even skills and all sort of stuff like that so <clears throat> you know you just kind of have to see uh what we'll what to, we'll to see what it is once we get there but there's there's multiple championships to be won you know what i'm saying in order to be considered the best <clears throat> it's not just a straight along just one fight and that's it like our straight just fight and stuff like that like how it was last year so um you know, they they uh they go look for females. 
And then we go to the scene where Tori actually ends up going to Amanda. She goes to her house and asks, she asks for, you know, help from, um, from Amanda. And it's like, you know, well, I've already talked to the principal about letting me back into school because the whole ordeal that happened last, last season, she's like, you know, I already talked to the principal about letting me back into school. And he said, it's cool. But the only way that I'll be able to do it is if you and Daniel sign off, um, you know, on this slip that's saying that it's okay for me to come back because, you know, um, that that's that's the that's the predicament I'm in. That's the situation that that it's gonna take in order for them to let me back into school. And I need to get back into school because obviously she's trying to be able to be ready for when she has to take custody of her her little brother. So, you know, of course Amanda's already been feeling sorry for what she did and, and already and already feels sorry for <coughs> Tori because of a situation that she's in. And so, you know, she agrees to help out. And all of a sudden, Samantha and Daniel come home. And, uh, you know, Sam sees that, you know, Tori's here. And she's like, yo, what is she doing here? Da, 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 da. So she just gets, she blows up. She gets mad. <clears throat> uh, and then we, uh, you know, Tori, Tori, Tori leaves or whatever it may be. And then, um, you know, Daniel and uh, Amanda have a talk and then but before they have a talk uh, Samantha ends up talking to Daniel and Amanda about just how she's feeling and you know just how things are going and it's 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 it's, it's a big mess you know um <clears throat> then we go to a scene where Hawk is at his house, or Hawk is like at a house or a room or whatever it may be, and he's down. You feel me? Like he's just he's playing games on the internet or on a computer. He doesn't want to do nothing. You feel me? Like when Cobra Kai cut off his mohawk, they took a lot of his uh, <clears throat> you know, self esteem, and he just was like, you know what? I'm done with karate type stuff, and um, you know. His homie Dimitri was like, bro, you got me into karate and you made my life better. You made it to the point where I was able to defend myself. I was able to have confidence and I got the girl of my dreams. And you mean to tell me that you think I'm going to let you sit here and, you know, sit around, mope around and and and, and, and give up karate all in all? Because <clears throat> Hawk was talking about, like, I'm not going back to Miyagi Do and I'm not going to Cobra Kai either. I'm just done with karate altogether. And so, you know, the Dimitri was trying to you know, bring him out of his funk and let him realize, make him realize that, hey, man, you know, you you you, you belong with me, man. We're best friends and I'm going to look out for you just as you looked out for me, bro. Um, you know, everything's going to be all right. Just because your hair got cut off doesn't mean that you, you know, you, you're a different person. You are who you are, bro. So just learn that. <clears throat> um, and then from there we go uh, to a scene where Robbie, he's at a liquor store and, uh, Daniel actually goes to see him and <clears throat> his whole thing is that he's trying to tell, he's not trying to get Robbie to come to Miyagi though. He's not trying to get Robbie to quit uh, Cobra Kai, but he's trying to open up um, Robbie's eyes about Terrence because, you know, um, Daniel was kind of once in a way in the same position with Terrence as Robbie is with Terrence. So he lets him know, you know what, like this dude, He'll do whatever to sway you over to a side, then he'll manipulate you, he'll 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 make the worst of you come out and everything like that. He's talking to Robbie about this. And lo and behold, Terrence ends up showing up right behind Daniel. <clears throat> and then um Terrence is like, uh, you know, Robbie's like, alright, I'm going or whatever. And then Terrence talks to Daniel, he's like, bro, like he, Robbie's not interested in what you got to say. And, you know, this whole ordeal about you, you know, feeling this way and this way about what I did in the past. You deep down inside, you liked it, bro. Deep down inside, you're a hothead, bro. And deep down inside, when I freed your hotheadness or I, I freed your anger and made you be able to walk around in a way that you never did before, you know you liked it, man. You know you liked it. I saw it in you. You liked it, bro. This, this, that, that anger is it's it's inside you. No matter how hard you try to be peaceful and everything like that, when I turned you the way that you turned, you know, back in the day, you did enjoy it, bro. And so. You know, uh, that's kind of was the conversation that Daniel and Terrence had. And then, you know, Terrence, uh, <clears throat> sorry, Daniel left. And then Terrence left shortly after that. And that was it for that scene. Um, so, 
what ends up happening is Miguel <clears throat> and um, Miguel and Johnny, they end up talking to, I forgot the girl's name, but it's the girl that Hawk likes, right? Um, the girl that was bi, that had like a bi, that had a girlfriend last season. And they're trying to get her to join, you know, co uh, I'm sorry, uh, Eagle Fang, so that way they can have a female, you know, uh, a warrior, you know what I'm saying? So that way they can enter in all the competitions for the tournament. And she's like, at first, she's like, you know what, uh, I'm, 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 I'm probably not for it, you know what I'm saying? But the best thing you can do is actually go talk to my ex, Piper, because she's like one of the best athletes. And if you talk to her about it, I'm pretty sure she'll want to join. So they go talk to her about it, try to get her to join. And as far as it seems, it seems like she's going to join. But then when we go back later down in the future or later down in the, uh, later in the episode, we find out that Cobra Kai actually um, was the one that Piper had chose. And that's crazy because I didn't even, you know, you didn't even know that Cobra Kai had talked to her, but they did and they got her. And so now Johnny is out without, uh, you know, a female student to teach um, at this time. Um, and then from there, you have Sam, Samantha, and she goes to visit Aisha from last season. And Aisha lives in like San Diego or something like that. And she's talking to her and she's like, yo, you know, I, I got the situation happening with Tori and she's coming back to the school and this is that. And Aisha's like, you know what? Like <clears throat> when I started school down here, I had the same situation happen to me, like in a way. And being everything that I learned about, you know, uh, with you guys, I wasn't going to allow that to happen. I saw this girl, she would mean mug me and everything like that. So I just decided to go up to her and I told her, hey, you know, how are you doing? I'm new to this school. You show me around, da, 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 da. And we actually became friends. And so you're thinking that Sam's going to take that information and try to go to Tori and maybe become a friend, like in a way, you know what I'm saying? And that's how that scene ends. Um, and then we skip back to Johnny and he goes to this debate uh, group uh, with Miguel and um, there's a, a, a young uh, girl up there and she's talking and she has that spunk. She has that attitude and you can tell that this is going to be the girl for the job if Johnny can uh, realize it. You know what I'm saying? And as that scene goes on, Johnny ends up realizing that, hey, you know what? We found a bad chick and we, we're going to we're going to recruit her. So obviously, hopefully, if things go right, that'll be the chick that they recruit to uh, Eagle Fang. You know what I'm saying? So just because they lost out on Piper doesn't mean they lost out all, uh, all together. You know what I'm saying? Um, after that, um, we go to Daniel and Daniel's training his students on the competition. He's trying to get them ready for, you know, uh, you know, being on, on our big stage, you know, being on this, uh, being on the, uh, you know, the, 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 the fighting, uh, Matt, you know what I'm saying? Being on that big stage, having a crowd, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. And. He starts training, and um, we see him training with Dimitri for a second, and it was cool. Um, so you know, he 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 just he just trying to put on the finishing touches for the training for the kids so that they can be ready for it. And that was that was kind of it for that scene. Um, but what ends up happening though is Hawk. <laughs> he ends up coming back. Dimitri, you know him him talking to you know Hawk about you know like you belong here. Da -da 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 -da. It, it brought him out of his funk and it ends up being that, you know, Dimitri, I'm sorry, um, uh, Hawk is now going to be a part of, uh, uh, Miyagi-Do. So now they have a, 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 a true fighter. You feel me? Because Miguel is with Eagle Fang and Robbie is with Cobra Kai. So out of the people that he has left on Miyagi-Do, he really needed a, a, a real fighter that he can really, you know what I'm saying? Put that, put that trust in the, the real fighter that can put that work in. And that's going to, uh, for him, it's going to be, you know, uh, Hawk. So that's, that's dope, bro. And he plays out of his funk. He realizes that, you know, this hair didn't make me, bro. I made me, I am who I am and I can be the best that I could be. You know what I'm saying? I just got to shine. I got to get a chance to do it. And I'm, I'm going to take the opportunity that I'm getting right now and I'm going to do it. So that was dope as well. Um, and then we go from there and, um, we see Sam and she tells her dad, like, you know, 
don't worry about the stuff that happened yesterday. Everything's going to be cool. Like, I found a way to make it work out. And you're like, oh, okay, well, cool. You know what I'm saying? It's going to work out. Bruh. Shorty goes to school, sees Tori. Tori's there. People are already looking at Tori like, yo, you're back here? How'd you get back here? She walked, uh, Samantha walked straight up to Tori. Is like, yo, like, just because you're here doesn't mean you got the upper hand. I got the upper hand. Don't try to play me. You know what I'm saying? If you do, we can get down again. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about you, bro. You better watch your back and everything like that. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, yo, like, what is up with these LaRusso kids, bro? Like, first, um, her younger brother's tripping on Kenny. And then now, you know, short, like, even though she's building a, a edge about herself, Samantha is, from learning from Johnny, which is something that she needs. She doesn't have to be a bully, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all tripping, bro. But anyways, uh, that's how that that's how the episode ends. A pretty decent episode, right? So, uh, three of my favorites, three uh, three of my favorite scenes from this episode was uh, uh, when Terrence and Daniel talk at the liquor store. I thought that was a pretty cool uh, you know, situation because it's like, you know, it, it it just it just. It's always Daniel combating, you know, Terrence with words, but Terrence was actually like, no, bro, you liked it. You know what I'm saying? You like to be, you know, angry and all that stuff like that. And da, da, da. You were happy, bro. Whether you want to admit it or not, you were happy. So, you know, lay off me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was a pretty cool episode, uh, 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 scene from the episode. Uh, second scene would be uh, Hawk coming back. You know what I'm saying? Hawk being in that funk from, you know, getting his uh, mohawk cut to the point where he didn't want to, you know, do karate at all anymore, whether it was for Cobra Kai, whether it was for... You know, um, Miyagi Do, he was just done with it all together. But, you know, at the end of the day, he realized that, you know, he belongs in this thing. And, uh, you know, just seeing, seeing him come back and, 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 and you know, the students welcome, 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 welcoming him in. Um, and that was really, you know, somebody that they, that, they, that they needed to be on a team in order to be able to, you know, survive this tournament. So it just, it was a cool scene, you know what I'm saying? And the last scene to me would be uh, Sam and Tori at the school. Even though I don't uh, like what Samantha did, that scene was, it, it, it was pretty dope, bro. It was like, yo, you picked on me last time and uh, just letting you know, you're here and you're here because of my mother's good graces and my father's good graces. But if you try to mess with me again, bro, I don't need the help. I'm coming after you, bro. And uh, so, yeah, bro, that, that, that was like three of my favorite scenes. Wasn't too much uh, fighting in this episode. So, you know, kind of had to just go with scenes. Uh, whether it was just, you know, cool dialogue that I liked. Um, <clears throat> so for me, uh, this episode was a little bit weaker than the last one. Uh, but it's not, you know, it, w it wasn't bad at all. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10 for sure. Um, if you guys seen this episode, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, baby, this is Q's Insight. I am Callie. And until next time.